What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So have you guys ever tried simulating fire or explosions before? Well, if you haven't ever done something like that before, you've probably at least seen simulated fire in a movie like Avatar, Avengers, pretty much any Star Wars movie, everything coming out from the Harry Potter series. Honestly, the list goes on and on and on. But what you may not know is that simulating fire and particle effects takes a really, really, really long time. I mean, as you can imagine, making something look ultra realistic and also act and behave in such an organic way is something that sounds pretty challenging to do all within inside of a computer. And for the most part, doing things like that, people use 3D software like Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, even After Effects sometimes to create all sorts of fire effects. And this process can take anywhere from hours to days to even months, depending on how many computers are working on it. But today, all of that changes because I'm gonna be checking out a brand new software. It's actually a beta software called Embergen. And the results that I've been just seeing with it are freaking mind-blowing. <laughs> so a scene like this would have probably taken anywhere from a few minutes to set up, maybe even a few hours to simulate, and then hours to days to even render. But using Embergen, something like this can be set up in a matter of seconds and every frame is getting rendered, simulated, in pretty much real time. Like we're looking at roughly 10 milliseconds a frame rather than 10 minutes a frame. Today I'm gonna be hopping right in. Let's take a stab at trying to make some ultra realistic fire in a matter of seconds using this software. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm super Super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so the first thing to do is I'm gonna be pulling up Embergen. I kinda wanna give it a really difficult scene. I don't want it to just simulate fire growing out from a single point like most basic setups and particle systems do. I want it to actually simulate a whole bunch of forces on it. So I want wind affecting it, gravity affecting it. Who knows, maybe even we can even get some sort of displacement objects there. And I really wanna push to see how far this software can go in terms of simulating real fire and adding temperature. Cause you know, in order to compete with the likes of Cinema 4D and even Blender, Embergen is gonna have to be able to do a whole lot of customization. So right here, you can see that I am in the software and this main window right now is actually the previewer window. Over here on the side, you're gonna see all these different nodes. If you never worked with nodes before, this is pretty much a way that we can affect the different properties of the simulation rather than using layers that kind of go top down or even organize things into folders. A node-based system allows us to use inputs and outputs to directly apply different parameters and Honestly, I'm just going on and on. I think it'd probably just be more fun to just hop right into this and play around with the settings. Yo, do you guys see this? This looks so freaking dope. Okay, so on the surface, it looks like fire, but you know, for someone like me who has spent hours before simulating something like just one frame of Wait, this. you made that? Yeah, yeah, this is all made just using the software. I didn't even really make anything. I just opened up the first preset, so. <laughs> So already I can tell you that doing something like this in Blender would have taken me hours and I would not be able to get the same responsive feedback that I'm getting using Embergen. I'm really able to get all 360 angles on this. Holy shit, this is so dope. And what I'm noticing too at the bottom is we're getting a frame counter. You can see it's, we're at like 4,200 frames already. And this just keeps on simulating. Wow, and we're actually getting ray traced lighting right now. Ooh, I'm gonna try and playing around with the bounds. So this looks like the limits of the simulation. You can see over there at the top, we're getting a bit of clipping. But for the most part, this is looking pretty good and we're getting a lot of detail in this. So I wonder what kind of voxel size they're using for this. This is like pretty good, <laughs> just off the bat. Damn, and up at the top here, you can see the render time. We're looking at 9.6 milliseconds. Oh my goodness. Hitting about 82 to 85% GPU usage right now. Wow. Yo, and this is pretty cool. We can even see the different velocities of the particles. It looks like this is even showing me a little bit more of how this is getting simulated. And the temperature, wow, this is super cool. <laughs> Yo. Okay, let's try and push it a little bit harder now because I wasn't expecting this fire to look that good. I was just expecting, you know, kind of like those simple flame ones that you might find on YouTube, but already. <laughs> and shoot, hey, if any of you guys have seen our fire in the hand tutorial, you'll probably notice that what I was using was just a video of fire to make that, but already using this, I think if I keyed it out, I'd be able to use the same sort of asset in all sorts of VFX. So in terms of speed, already Embergen gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna try getting another preset in here. Let's try and get one that has a little bit more going on with it. Yo, let's take a look at this flamethrower. Any Elon Musk fans out there? Yo. <laughs> 
This is so sick, holy shit. Now this one is running a little bit slower. We're seeing like 40 milliseconds, but I'm gonna see if I can kind of get this to run faster by playing with one of these nodes here for the simulation. Okay, so it looks like under settings, I can even affect the lighting quality. And right now I've got it down by about 10 more milliseconds. So this is looking really great. All of this is well rendered in 3D. I can alter the camera and holy shit, this is looking so great. Okay, so let's check out another one. This one has to be my favorite one, hands down. It is the tornado. Yo, do you guys see this? This is growing up from the bottom and turning into this tornado. I can even see the way that the different particles are actually rolling up as if there's like this wind and current affecting it. Yeah, this one is super sick. Holy shit. Babe, do you see how like realistic this fire is coming out? Mm -hmm. What? And all of this is just being simulated in a few seconds. Yo, okay, so this moving fireball just looks like they're showing off right now. I'm seeing the way that the fire is changing into the smoke with the temperature affecting it and the different way that the particles are going on right now. Holy shit, this is so cool. Yo, this fog just looks so realistic. What the heck? I don't, I don't think I've ever played around with a particle simulator that is giving such great ray trace effects this quickly with this much customization. Oh my goodness. Yo, and I can even affect the scale of the forces on this right now. Yeah, and just by playing around with a few settings in this node tree here, I'm able to get all sorts of different results. And this is literally like, I'm making clouds right now, yo. This is, holy shit. <laughs> Can you even change the pressure rate? Honestly, most of these settings look way too complicated. Like, it's probably gonna take a few seconds to look through the documentation. Oh shoot, I can even affect the fall off? What the heck? <laughs> Yo, this is just too cool. I don't know if you guys like playing with smoke as much as I do, but if you do, you're gonna have fun with Embergen. By the way, this was not sponsored at all. I just really like messing around with 3D, and when I saw this software, I thought it was one of the coolest things I had seen in a while. This spell one also looks pretty cool. Okay, so already I think I can just have fun for hours with Embergen, just playing around with all these different effects and nodes. Now, if you guys wanna check out Embergen, I'm also gonna be leaving a link down in the description. And hey, while you guys are checking that out, why not? Also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more, make sure you guys subscribe and also ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we're gonna be posting. There's a whole bunch more super dope software coming out. I think next up, I got one called MetaHuman for you guys. As always, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one. All right, peace.